Not to play with the hair. Looks a little get the manager. That's okay. It's been a while since I've drawn anything, so I'm gonna just do something to warm up before I get on my actual gig. <sighs> Need something. do what it's going to do. Faithful guidelines are faithful. I don't know much about her yet. She does have a lot of characters. She's just sort of coming together. Stiff pose, but it's good warm up. I don't know if I should talk more or just be quiet, but if no one else were here, I'd talk to myself, which technically I'm doing since no one is here. Everybody's asleep. I uh, have a couple pictures I'm due. I need to do them to get my... Uh, Big Stop a Robot's book done. But you don't just, like, jump into drawing. Like, if it's been a while or you're not sure how you're feeling that day, you got to draw a sketch of it just to uh, get that, get the juices flowing. It's harder for me to do the kind that I'm going to have to do, which is mechanical, uh, object-based. But... Sleeves and a tank top. Oh, I am tired. This is like day, I don't know, six without major caffeine, without any. The headaches are finally abating, but it's not the world's easiest, and I'm not the nicest person when I'm. Coming down off the of caffeine. There, her hair looks much more interesting that way. Oops, sorry. Shook the whole table, shook the whole rig.
I just did it again. That's it. Feeling lazy, hence behind the back stance. That's the universal dick doesn't feel like drawing hands right now stance. You see it a lot. Uh, let me do something with that shirt. Make it a button up. We her layers are at least cute. Uh, oops. That's okay. Like I said, this is just a fast sketch. But people said they like to see it, so there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure about that line. A little bit of ear, not a lot. I don't want to accidentally go all elven on it. I draw enough fantasy that it's really easy to accidentally go like, oh, and by the way, she's an elf. What ears? Friend Aaron used to call them wind vane ears. Oh, that's what's wrong. My mechanical pencil's coming unscrewed in my hand. Oh, well. It's like it for not using a fancy one. Oh, I'm not like doing any shady stuff switching lead out or anything. It's just changes in the grip. I'm not even sure I'm gonna ink this one. It's kinda coming out cool, just in pencils. Uh she definitely looks like the skirty girl. I love how like when you're when you're drawing pardon my, my sniffles. You start to get an idea about the character as you draw. And no, I'm not doing like my usual more inhuman uh, proportions. I'm trying to keep her a little more straight, a little more realistic. <sighs> sure, it's a bit long, but she's got that I borrowed it from somebody or found it cheap look, so that's okay. Let's add that line there. Grew up loving Bob Ross. So, collarbone action. I mean, she's, she's fairly busty, but I don't want her to be like a super cleavage girl. There's times for that. Again, fantasy artwork almost always has to be super cleavage girl. Plus, the fans don't really dig it. I like the wispy remains, that's kind of cool. Uh, still seems lacking. And part of it is because, like I said, I got cheat, got cheatery and I threw the hands upon the back, but well, let's see. Uh, oh. <gasps> Light erase because, like I said, I'm not sure I want to um, erase that, but we'll we'll see. Uh, oh yeah, you're seeing the little boot piece. That's just because this is one of my tools I used to use when I was going FCA. Yep, I'm gonna anchor. I have to take my glasses off to do this. And I'm not one of those guys who uses. I use specific tools in that. I have pens I like, pencils, sort of, things I think are work better, but they're not like, I need a India ink number whatever wedge tip. Um, people like to know about the tools. So I was using a, just as cheap as they come, Point uh, oh seven lead mechanical pencil. This this is one of my babies. This is good old paper mate flare pen. It's a medium, which I think that's all the flare comes in. But it's felt tip. It gives just divine line control. I've seen. A lot of pens, a lot more expensive that work, but Paper Mate Flare is sort of my favorite. Have you noticed, I don't always follow my pencil lines. Everything's sort of a 
suggestion more than a iron firm demand. I find it less stressful that way. And it gives the work a, um, a more natural feel, I think. You shouldn't be scared of your artwork, which I'm anxious by nature. Yay, anxiety. But, uh, so perfection kind of is the temptation and the enemy at the same time. Anyhow. Yeah, little, little later today, I'll be working on my artwork for Big Stompy Robots. And I love Big Stompy Robots. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's, that's pay-based work that's to be published. That's like a grades more serious or two. One reason this picture's at all serious is uh, that I'm filming it. But I need to practice use, and get used to working on camera. Like I said, sorry if there's a best line. And I don't know when Xander's going to wake up or my family's going to get going. There's a myriad of issues I could be dealing with right now, but... Sometimes when you're an artist, you have to realize, contrary to nearly the whole world, doing what you do is important. Even if it's just to you. Like to play with what do I know about this character? She's not affluent. She's not like a rich girl at all. She's kind of got that uh, non ironic shops at the thrift store feel. E.g., you know, one of mine. Uh, quiet. The body language definitely says quiet, says. Thoughtful. The eyeliner, though, hints that there's a little bit of... She's not one of those girls who doesn't care, so she needs to actually need to be darked up just a bit. But... The body language says that she doesn't think anyone notices. I don't know if they do yet. I don't know. I haven't put her in a world. I do this with just about everything I draw. Talk about it. Come up with silly little stories. Yeah. I like that pattern. Uh, oh, the off arm. I didn't like where that elbow was. Then it's my picture, so I can just be like, Psh, no. One of the hardest things to do when you're drawing like this is decide, hey, okay, I like all the, the ink. I need to get rid of the pencils and not rush it. Because if you rush it, you're going to smear it. So you always have to take a couple seconds, really let the ink settle, blah, 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 before you uh, come in and go. See, I'm doing it. Smooth strokes. Uh, this is a white polymer eraser. I used to use magic rubs, but they're actually really hard to find anymore. And you can find the knockoffs are like 80% as good. Maybe the same, actually, if it's just a bit of nostalgia. I don't know if I'm going to give her legs or not, or just stop right there, kind of frame it off. 
Just need a little bit of, a bit more of hair indication, you know? It's funny, because you have, like, the shine line. Shaheen! Goes well, tracks across the eye lines. See, all that's lined up nice. Uh, she really looks like she needs a frame. I just haven't figured out what. Let's, have, let's throw one up here and see what happens. Boom. I like to do like partial where they're kind of stepped out of the frame. It makes the picture interesting. I'm shaking my camera. You guys can't tell me anything about it, so. <clears throat> Anyhow. Uh, what's she got? What's, what's she about? Uh, still get like books. She's. Very, very bookish. So let's just throw a quick sort of quasi desk in here. If I could close it off though, I'll leave it open. The nice thing about not coloring in your pictures is it's much easier to leave the edges unfinished. When you color, you have these big blobs of where do they end? Where do they start? Uh, it just looks like she needs some things to sort of round her background out. Can't do that so it doesn't look wrong. Oh, the, the rig I'm using while I do, because you know, background pictures are kind of, they're not usually that interesting to work with. The, uh, the rig that's holding my phone, because I'm filming this on my phone, is this piece, which is a Tiki torch holder and a selfie stick. Ah. Uh. Still, get the clock action there. No. I'm gonna start with this it's a ball. Make it all artsy over here. I grandfather clocks. I don't have one. I have a little wind up clock, but the problem is every time I Run the washing machine, it shakes it, and then it unspools. It sounds like you know, Quasimodo's gone mad at the top of Notre Dame with all the bells and such. I don't use a lot of complex shapes. A lot of this is just kind of knowing how to throw some lead around. Which sounds very mercenary. Let's put the clock at, a, at an interesting time. Just throw it. Yeah, there we go. I'll come back. I'll do something back that more pretty. Don't know if I'll add numbers because, like I said, I don't know. Now oh, she looks like she's got a background. There's, there's some time. Time is important suddenly. Maybe she's a time traveler. Maybe, you no. Know, a certain British physician's uh, traveling companion. Ha! Ah, look at me work around copyright infringement. Up, oh, put that there. Uh, she still needs something like right here. This this the spot bothers me. So that's oh that's not bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's throw. 
a vase, a vase, whatever. Just throw a place to stash some flowers. I'll give you a chance to throw some flowers up real fast. They're definitely not going to be like proper or horticulturally, horticulturally accurate, but eh, that's okay. We've already established she may have had some adventures elsewhere. For all we know, these are like Venetian da daisies. Yeah, I'm going to totally muck that up when I go to kids. That's okay. Uh, the clock looks two-dimensional, but that looks weird. I kind of dig the weird, so we're going to keep that. The flowers. In high school, it's actually quite a shame that I drew flowers. I don't know why. It just it was an era where doing anything feminine could get you in a lot of trouble. Well, it's changed a lot since then. I'm very glad for it. Don't need to feel guilty about drawing flowers. I really don't think people should have to feel guilty about drawing whatever they want to draw. I uh, know there'll be people right now who would say, hey, that's uh, risky because people might draw you know, naughty bits. I'm not really wading it too hard into that because yeah, I didn't like the lines on that face anyway. I'll try it like this. It's off center. Maybe she got it bootleg at the dollar store. It fits the, the, the mentality. Needs a thicker base, though, so we're going to do that. Throw. Oh. So, the base of all the plants in there. See how I left that gap? See why? Isn't that cool? In art, water almost always has bubbles. It's just a thing about water. We've established that there's some funky lighting going on, so we'll do that. There we go. Uh, quick on the dresser. I kind of threw the angles off, so I'm going to have to edit it as I go. But since I'm not using a straight edge and I'm not being graded, I'm not too worried about it. We'll give it that kind of pull. It's been a while since I've done that kind of pull. There we go. Gonna just throw that line there so I have a you know, iron down. I don't know if Facebook will let me post this. I don't know if YouTube will let me post this. But we'll see. I'm going to post it somewhere. Ow! Yeah, I got some wrist damage that acts up when I draw. Off-road skateboarding accident, if you could believe it. Well, that's what was, even if you don't believe it. That's the nice thing about the truth, but... Here we go. And like I said before, I don't like being constrained by lines, even once I draw. So sometimes, I will just sort of say, no, nah, we're good. And... Do it my own way. Anyway. Huh. 
almost want to do my straight lines. There's not a lot of hand movement. I goofed that up, but I'm going to fix it with the uh, uh, Sharpie. It'll be a neat trick. Because if I use my hand, like right there, goof it up. But, again, a chance to fix it with black work. Oh, I don't know if black work is a term, but terms have to come from somewhere. You got line work, and line work is what I'm doing right now for the most part. That's just, hey, look, I'm going to ink this happy, happy picture here. All I do sound like Bob Ross. <sighs> I'm still like on edge. I'm uh, get my shook a little bit. That's okay. But uh, when I hit the hit the big black, you pull out your old my old friend, a Sharpie permanent marker. It'll be this one probably. I might have to use this guy. It's an old extra fine. They're hard to find, but they're really awesome. They're almost as good as one of these. And better if you have to do on a strange media that where, you know, standard happy felt tip won't draw. Yep. So. I have a couple books. Simple Sword, that's me teaching people how to fence. The uh, Big Stompy Robot series it is a game. It's a tactics game involving big robots. That's, you know, very rules light. It's child friendly. It's special needs friendly. Certainly compared to most of the other tactics games I've played. To the point that sometimes, as arrogant as the sounds, I prefer to play my game other than the, uh, the ones I've bought. Which my, makes my wife very happy because it means I'm not buying other games. But, uh, the, like I said, the clock looks flat and I don't know why. I, but that happens, so. Yeah, the sound you're hearing is my son rumbling around behind me. Uh, black work. What are you drawing? <laughs> I'm drawing a girl. What girl? What uh, kind of girl is it? Well, I know she's bookish. I know she's either British or has ha had a British nanny and picked up slight a bits of the accent. I know she likes flowers and is not terribly rich. Why does she love flowers? I don't know. Because they're pretty. Maybe they remind her of happier times. I'm not sure, son. I wanted to take some time and do some art before you woke up, but you're awake. So I'm going to have to finish a little quicker than maybe I wanted. Because you're up and you're going to want breakfast. So. That is okay, too. Let me just clean this up a bit. Uh... Like the sort of darkness of the clock. Remember, I told you I'd hit that with the sharpie and fix it. <laughs> Glorious. I had just a bit of just shading. line this a little bit but all the other parts that need it which are those three lines 
I was going to black, but I don't think so. I think I might just leave it like that. And since I'm almost out of time, I'll sign it. It's still 2017, so there we go. Quick picture, relatively quick sketch, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for viewing. Hope you enjoyed it.